Hello YouTubers and welcome back to our 7 Days to Die series. Today we are going to go ahead and eat something before we pass out, but we're also going to go ahead and check out some prefabs. This is another episode of our prefab series. We are standing in front of a motel. This was done by uh, Echo, the person that designed the, the uh, prison that I was so happy about the other day that I installed. And we do have a motel. This is this is better than Motel 6. This is like Motel 6 and a half. Okay, how about that? So let's go ahead and check it out. You get double beds. Very good. You got your free ball caps. You got that. You have, you know, some, you have the Gideon Bible, which makes very good shotgun shells. You also have this. And we're going to go ahead and turn our light on so you guys can see this. You know, check it out. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We also have garbage, which has nothing in it but garbage. Don't forget, doors equal doorknobs. Doorknobs equal brass. Brass is good. You got many doors on this. You have a total of how many? 10, 15, 30, 30 doors, 30 brass, lots and lots of bullets. But, you know, like I said, more of the same. You do get a chance to get some pistols, you know, some SMG ammo, some more Bibles. And then we're going to go cruise through here and get some water. You know, those types of things. Each, each room does come equipped with a bathroom. So you can get your drinking water. All right. So we got more of that. We're going to go up on the roof. After we take a little quick run through the manager's office. Because what motel would be complete without having a manager? And I hear a zombie. That's eh, okay. We can take care of zombies. I think we're having a special. If you, you bring your zombie entire zombie family, we'll throw the kids in for free. Two adults and one child stays free. No problem. We can do this. As long as you're zombies. Alright. So we know what that looks like. Now we're going to go up. This is the stairway to get up to the second floor. It's very cool up here, by the way. Really nice piece. I like this. You know, we got we got our gratuitous dead bodies laying on the ground. With their, their bullets in them and no gun. Which means that that's, we know why they died. Lots and lots of loot, though. Loot is good. Loot is very good. I hear a zombie breathing. I bet there's a zombie underneath us here. I bet we don't care. Because we have things to do and places to go. So this is the Motel 6.5. So we're going to get up on the roof here. You just go this way. And there's a can of gas. Very good. We'll take that for the auger that we don't have yet. Okay. okay, so let's get off of this thing. There is a ladder here somewhere, like right underneath us. How about that? Oh, who cares? And now you also have air conditioners and boxes down each one of the main parts of the building as well. You have more air conditioners lining the back of it, which is huge because you get um, your shot at getting your short iron pipe and your piece of scrap iron and your gratuitous cloth and if we get an auger this time I'm going to probably jump up and down for joy because oh we got a chainsaw hey can't beat that not bad for logging in twice there we go Bullet to the head takes care of zombies' attitude every time. Oh, look at that. He, he gave me an entire bullet as a tip. Alright, let's get off of this silly thing. Right, we're just going to go do it the easy way. Yeah, I know. It hurts when you hit do like that. That's alright. We don't care. We're going to get rid of the spider zombie like that. Come on, come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. There we go. And we don't care about the bone. So we're going to go to the other piece that was made. 
that I'd like to talk a little bit about. This one's done by Girdle. He did the uh, he did the apartment complex that we're going to see here in just a moment, right across the street from where we're going next. There's a fatty. He doesn't look happy either. He looks like he's got indigestion. So we'll take care of that. We'll give you a nine millimeter roll aid. Probably need to get some bullets out here. How about that? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to the restaurant. All the famous zombies in town like to eat there. The Chez Zombie is what we're talking about. We oui, oui, monsieur. So you get your zombie, your zombie restaurant right here. Very nice little bistro. You know, you have your your guest waiting area. You know where they can all you know clean their shotguns. And drop their short iron pipes on the ground because we don't really care about those. We've got plenty. You also have your kitchen area, which has tons and tons of loot inside of it. You know, cookware, water. And we're going to take the water because we're greedy like that. We also have your sham, your gratuitous, you know, meow chow mix. Meow chow. Meow, 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 meow. All right, here we go. And we got some more boxes on top. We don't need to worry about. Oh, that just for the hell of it. And we'll take that too. And we'll take that. And you know what? There. I love that. I love that chainsaw. So anyway, we're gonna take the water. If we get, we don't have room for the water. We're gonna leave the water alone. See what looting zombies will do for you. It fills your inventory of so darn much you don't have room for anything else. But that's okay. Because that's how we roll. So we've been on the roof. We've been around the front. We're going to jump off the roof. Because it's the fastest way down. And we're going to take one more quick little look at the seating areas. This rack is very nice. This looks this looks like an eye looks like a Denny's, I would say. If anyone knows what a Denny's is. You know, it's it's a very nice restaurant in most in most cases. It's a very nice restaurant in some cases to depending on the Denny's, to catch something that will make you very ill the next day. But you know, it depends on the Denny's. There are some very really actually really good Denny's out there. Oh, there's an uh, unhappy customer. Looks like she came back with uh, for some roll aids. Well, we took care of that. We gave her roll aids in the. In the All right, so you guys have seen it. There's the apartment complex way over there. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. This is Drew signing off.